There's just no way these tiny wings are going to be able to lift up this body. Hi everyone, today I'm back with another crochet tutorial and today we're going to be making this cute little bee keychain. We're going to need black, yellow, white, and pink size 4 acrylic yarn, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, pliers, some keychain hardware, and then 8 millimeter safety eyes. And of course, a needle. Oh, and some stuffing. We're gonna start from the head with a yellow yarn, and then we're gonna make a magic circle. For those who don't know how to do it, just follow how I'm doing it here. I made a cross, pulled the yarn through the middle, and now I have this little loop here where I will stick my crochet hook in. Then I just chain one, and then I'm gonna flip it. Now that I have my magic circle, I'm just going to put six single crochets inside. Single crochets are going to make up like 97% of this entire project, so it's going to be pretty easy. The only other um, stitches you'll need to know is like a chain, a slip knot, a slip stitch, and a double crochet. After doing the six single crochets, you're just going to pull until you cinch it close. Now we're going to connect these two ends together by doing a slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made. So it's going to be right there. It's a, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's the first one you made. So you're going to stick your crochet hook in, you're going to yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then pull through again to the loop that was in your hook. Then you're going to chain one. For the next row, we're going to increase. So we're going to put two single crochets into every single stitch. So you started off with six, now you're going to have 12 overall. Once you're done the row, you're just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet again and then you're going to chain one. We're going to be doing this after every single row, so just keep that in mind. For the next row, we're going to do one single crochet for the first stitch and then the next one, you'll be doing an increase, so you put two single crochets. And you're just going to alternate between a single crochet, an increase, a single crochet, and an increase. And at the end of this row, you should have 18 stitches overall. At the end of the row, just do what we always do, which is a slip stitch and then a chain one. For the next row, you're just going to do single crochet for every single stitch, so that's just 18 stitches total. And at this point, you're going to notice that it's actually starting to curve, and that's exactly what we want because we want to make it a round shape for the B. Now we're at the end, just a slip stitch and then chain one. We're going to cut the yarn here because we're going to be switching colors, so just cut like so. You don't need a long tail. And then you're just going to pull the hook upwards and then pull the tail to secure it. Now we're going to move on to the black yarn. We're going to do a slip knot, which is similar to the way I did a magic circle. And then we're going to put the hook in and just like size it down a little bit. We're going to put our hook through the end right here, basically the stitch we just finished with. And then we're going to put the hook through the black yarn and then pull this loop through that stitch. And now you can start your first row. So you just chain one and then you're just going to do a normal um, a single crochet for every stitch. So you're going to end with 18 stitches overall.
and of course at the end we're just going to do a slip stitch and then a chain one for the next row we're just going to do a normal um row again just 18 single crochets And as we go along the bee's body, we're just going to stick with the 18 single crochet rows because we want it to be uniform. Now we're just slip stitching and chaining one. Now we're going to switch back to yellow. So like we did last time, we're just going to cut this black yarn, pull the hook upwards, and then we're going to switch to the yellow yarn. So it's just a slip knot. We're gonna put the hook through the last stitch that we made. It's a little hard to see because it's black, but we already did this, so I think it should be okay. We're gonna pull the yellow yarn through, chain one, and then now you can do your 18 single crochets all around. And for this one, actually, we're gonna do two rows of yellow. Since we did two rows of black, we're gonna do two rows of yellow so that all the stripes are gonna be the same size. Now we're going to cut the yarn because we're going to have to switch back to black. So now all we want to do is basically do a copy paste of this black stripe and this yellow stripe. We're going to basically do a copy paste to make it longer. So just do the exact same thing you just did. So after doing that, this is how it should look like. It's literally just a copy paste. And at this point, we should be attaching our safety eyes. So here I'm just looking for the seam and I'm gonna place that on like the belly side of the B. So it's at the bottom. And then I'm gonna place the eyes between rows two and three. So this is row one, this is row two, and this is row three. I'm gonna place it right there. And then I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. After doing that, I'm just going to be attaching these backings. So we're back with our black yarn, make a slip knot, insert your hook into the last stitch. And from now on, we're going to be closing off the B. So pull through, and then we're going to be doing a single crochet and then a decrease. So single crochet and then a decrease is you're gonna insert your hook, pull out the yarn, Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull out some yarn, now you have three in your hook, and then pull through all three. And then you're just going to alternate. So it's like a single crochet, a decrease, single crochet, decrease, until you get to the end of the row. And it's going to be harder and harder to work with this because the round is getting smaller and smaller, but that's exactly what we want. Now that we're at the end, we're just going to do a slip stitch and then a chain one. And I'm just going to pull this out a little bit more because we're going to stuff our B. And it's pretty simple. You're just going to keep stuffing it until it retains its form. And I'm just going to speed up this process. After stuffing it, we're going to go back with the black yarn. And then for this last row, we're just going to decrease until the end of the row. You should end up with six stitches overall. And you'll notice that <laughs> I keep going towards the bottom of the camera because I am having a hard time trying to keep it in one place. So I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, at the end, just do your slip stitch, chain one, and then leave a long tail for sewing. Now, this situation happens a lot where the stuffing comes out at the end, and you can just clean it up by removing some, and then I use this like wooden skewer, like a barbecue stick, to just poke it 
back into the body. Now to complete the body, I'm just using my needle to sew the bottom part shut. So I just kind of go two stitches at a time. And then I just cinch it shut and then I do a bit of a knot. And then I just insert my needle and pull it all the way to the other side so that it doesn't unravel. Okay, now for the blush. You really don't need a lot of yarn for this, so don't worry. And if you don't know how to attach blush, just follow along. I insert the needle into like a random spot and then I put it a little bit towards the right of the eye. And then... I put it back to where I want it to end and then I go all the way to like the bottom of the other eye for the other blush make sure to not pull too tightly like this should be okay and then I'm just gonna finish it off and then I'm gonna make sure my needle is all the way to the back of the B so it's more secure and there you have it. I'm just gonna cut these ends off and use the skewer if there's anything that's coming out. Okay, now for the wings, we're going to do a slip knot using the white yarn. And then we're going to do a chain four. So we have one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do a incomplete double crochet. So we're going to do it on the third chain from the hook. So basically it's just yarn over, insert hook, yarn over again, and then pull through two of them. And then you're going to make another one into the next chain right there. Just do the same thing. And now you'll end up with three loops on your chain. I mean on your hook. And then you're just going to yarn over, pull through all three, and then chain two. And then you're going to slip stitch it into that exact chain. And then chain one, you're going to cut the yarn. And then pull your hook out. So that is one wing. It's really, really quick. So I'm going to do the next one with you as well. So it's the exact same thing. It's a slip knot. And then you're going to chain four. Okay, now you're going to make an incomplete double crochet into the third chain from the hook, like so. And then you're going to make another one into the next chain. Now you're left with three loops on your hook, pull through all three, chain two, and then slip stitch into that exact same chain. Chain one, cut your yarn, and pull your hook out. And now we just have to attach these two wings. Here I'm just looking for the middle of the B between the two eyes. And I'm going to stop at this yellow stripe right here. I'm going to go a little bit to the bottom and attach my hook like so. And this is where I'm going to put my first wing. So this it sounds a little bit complicated, but just follow what I'm doing. Watch closely. I'm going to hook this specific tail, not the other one, this specific one, and I'm going to pull it through the B. And after that, I'm just going to tie these two ends together with like a double knot. And now I've actually attached the wing. It was that simple. And for these tail ends, I'm just going to use my needle and poke it through the B and then cut the extra. For the other wing, you're just going to flip the B 
and you're going to be doing the exact same thing that we just did. You can also choose to do this with a needle if using a hook was too complicated. And there you have it. Now technically the bee is done, but for those who want to make this a keychain, we're going to be attaching the hardware. There's different kinds of hardware, but this is the one that I have and it comes with an extra piece that is open like this. And I'm going to use the pliers. So I'm going to hold it like so. And then we're going to go in the middle of those two wings and attach it. And then I'll hook this in. And then I'm going to use the pliers to just close this first piece. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all in my next video.